20 years ago, women from communities around the world convinced the United Nations Security Council to adopt Resolution 1325 on women, peace and security. The resolution recognizes the critical roles that women play in preventing war, resolving conflict, ending and rebuilding after war. As community leaders, women often work across conflict lines and help get warring parties to the negotiating table. They broaden the agenda to address root causes of violent conflict, identify solutions, and bring attention to the most vulnerable. And when the fighting ends, they help keep the peace and build inclusive prosperity. Women's meaningful participation in a peace process increases the likelihood of its long-term success by as much as 35%. But far too often, women are entirely excluded. Resolution 1325 is a roadmap. It makes clear that if we want global peace and security, women must be involved in every aspect of peace processes, from grassroots mobilizers to uniformed peacekeepers to the highest levels of decision making. But it doesn't stop there. Resolution 1325 brought to light one of history's greatest silences. The systematic, brutal, and widespread practice of rape and gender-based violence as weapons of war. It calls for protection for those who are vulnerable and an end to impunity for those who perpetrate. In Canada, the Women, Peace and Security Agenda is a key component of our feminist foreign policy. We launched Canada's National Action Plan on Women, Peace and Security to support women and girls here at home and around the world by incorporating Gender-Based Analysis Plus into our policies and programming listening to women and girls in communities about their priorities, addressing the challenges that Canadian women, particularly Indigenous women, still face, including gender-based violence and discrimination, and supporting women's service in senior leadership roles across our institutions and in peace operations around the world. 20 years in, we've made a lot of progress, but we know there is still much work to do. No country is perfect. Canada has much to share with the world and we have much to learn and improve. We will continue to stand alongside women and girls at home and across the globe and make sure their voices are heard to prevent and resolve armed conflict. We will work hard to increase the number of qualified women deploying and serving in our peace operations, particularly in key leadership roles. And we will do our part. And we will do our part. And we will do our part. We will do our part to build a better world for all. To build a better world for all. To build a better world for all. To build a better world for all.